Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon Elf Sapphire No Catch. We are heading off to see Professor Cosmo, uh, as per May's instruction. Remember his youngster Neil with a nice trap inch. Uh, I'm starting to worry that my team is starting to fall behind the curve a bit. I mean, we, there's only the two of them. Um, sure, we're going to have a good chance against this next gym. Thanks to just the type coverage Marsh Tomp gave us. Literally, it's it's all been Marsh Tomp up until this point. Because look, it's Electric now. Well, the Electric Gym? We can do that with Mudshot. The only one that we didn't really have an advantage for was the fighting gym, really. Because the rock type of rock tends to be weak to water. Um, in fact, I think it is actually weak to water. Um, followed by the um, fighting. Fighting, there was no change. But then we moved into electric. Oh, and there's ninjas that can hide in the ashes. It's a little annoying. From the ashes, they leap and they challenge you. Ninja Boy Loud. Hello, coughing. How are you doing? We're gonna take care of coughing with, I guess, Mudshot. We don't really have any. Fair enough. I say I don't really have anything super effective against it. Um, since it is just a poison type, even Rock Tomb normally is my counter to flying. So if they're gonna get hit by ground, they're gonna get hit by Rock Tomb. Unfortunately, yeah, Rock Tomb not going to be too helpful here. But I mean, two hit kill is a two hit kill. But that's just because we're nine levels ahead. So on that note, we have nothing to deal with um, poison. Well, what a coincidence. Hello, Confang. I think the gimmick for this guy is if you put him in red hell, he's going to use explosion or something like that. Use another wrong tomb. But we will find that out very quickly. Um, you say it's just going to use poison gas, which I'm glad missed, because I don't think we have any antidotes on us. And we're faster, so he's not getting a chance to use his self destructs. If that's really what his plan was. But I mean, any guy I see with three coughings, I assume he's self destructing at some point. That wasn't what I was using, I was using wrong tomb. I kind of want to give him a chance to get to red health and see if he's going to explode. Because he's used poison gas, he's used smog, um, I don't know what other moves he's used though. So we're going to rock to him again. Yeah, there's poison gas, we should spend a turn getting rid of the poison. It sounds silly, but I'm going to do it just so that he has a chance at explosion. Uh, status restore... Cherry? No, nope, Cherry is Paralysis. Perzim. Fusion. Hecha. Poisoning. There you are. So, if he is going to use explosion, it will be this turn. He doesn't have it. Interesting. I mean, it was worth scientifically testing. I did want to see him use Explosion. My apologies for wasting your guys' time. Level 26, Marsh Chomp is, is slowly pulling away again. Um, my goal is to actually have him 30 by the time we get to the next gym. Uh, because then when we finish the gym, we're going to get the advantage of probably being Swamper. Um, hello, Spinia. Our first encounter of the episode, I think, of the randoms. Nothing too, too interesting about it. Though I do like how it, it's all advancing. And apparently there's over 4 million different uh, spawn combinations it can have. No, actually, you have a Numel, which is perfect for Marsh Tom. He's going to say, I'm like, I'll just avoid this. No, we want to kill Madeline because of Numel. A uh, ground fire type. But this, is, this is also going to help me remember the types of the of Pokemon. Not necessarily what's good against them. Gen 7 has been spoiling me in that respect. However, Water Gun's enough to take Numel down. Good job, Pikachu. Actually not falling that far behind. 
despite the, um, well, not fighting for this route. I want to get that, but I guess it, like my plan doesn't really involve any DMs. Uh, it's all pretty much HMs that I had to worry about. And look at this Spinia. Looks completely different than the last one, uh, but it's the last one I really actually want to show. So go away, Spinia. Or Spinda. Well, I guess we're fighting this guy, because I can't seem to walk around him at all. There we are. That house is very nice. Um, it's the Ash Collector, and just by walking through the grass you can slowly collect ash and make sweet furniture. Um, something I never did, be it the original Gen 3 or Gen 6. There's some girl who seems to be obstructing us from getting to the PC. But, I mean, we only have the two Pokemon and they're on us, so I'm not too worried there. Goodbye, random lady. She's Lynette. She is uh, the one who made the PC. But if we try to continue on, we will meet May again. Who brings us to Professor Cosmo's house? That clue looks like Stern, just on the right of the house. I don't think it actually is, so. though. You see, Cosmo, abducted by weird guys calling themselves Team something or other. They called themselves Team Aqua. Plan to do something with the meteorite. We're heading to Meteor Falls, and May is going to meet us there. Yeah, that's the storyline now. We were headed to Mount Chimney. Uh, Chimney's blocked by Team Aqua. Team Aqua's off at Meteor Falls, so let's go see Team Aqua at Meteor Falls. I mean, I can't really fault the logic. Some fishermen, if you feel like it, but uh, Pikachu is holding up close levels, so I'm not too worried in that respect. The other thing I'm glad of is we can actually take on the um, double battles now. We couldn't before. Hello, Lombre. How are you doing? How are you doing? This guy, Pokemaniac, right? Want to battle against my Pokemon? Yes, I'd love to. He is very excited to see us, I suppose. And Aaron, here's where I often get the um, confusion that it is, in fact, weak to water. Because Aaron hit with Water Gun, it's super effective. But that's because Aaron is Ground Steel. I'm going to take a strong hit, uh, headbutt I think it was, and we'll just tackle to finish him off. Next turn. Wow, well, uh, because he's protecting this turn. Of course he is. Which, I don't know. When you only have one HP, I don't think you should bother protecting. Yeah, you'll live another turn, but the enemy's not poisoned or anything. Like, I am in no worse a state other than I've wasted one more tackle PP on you. Oh, so there we can see May chasing after those guys who have taken the professor, as well as a picnicker for us to fight. Camping's fun! You can fish, roast marshmallows, and tell super, uh, sorry, spooky stories, but the best part is the Pokemon battles. Hello Camper Shane! Oh, is this the Mining and, Lo and Lobby guy? It looks like it! It looks like it, guys! We found them! We found them! We're slower than Minin, so we'll take the, the hit. Um, we, we need to actually hit him, though. I can't give you, like, three pawn shots at me infinitely. Mud shot, enough to take down Minin, so we're in... Oh, and we got a crit. Even better. And there's Volbeat. We're actually going to switch because I think Volbeat might have something super effective against Marsh Tom, and I'd rather not risk it. But Pikachu does still have Icicle Crash, so we do have that in our arsenal. Arsenal. Sorry, I'm tripping over words at times. Drop those down, a full beat goes. Half health. And a flinch. I didn't realize Icicle Crash has a chance of flinch. I'll take it. Since this is another hit, and we'll kill, I think. 
It did. All right. Volby goes down. You really, you know, there's this nice girl on, on Route 111. You should go meet her. I think it was 111. Uh, I think 112 is right next to Mount Chimney, so it had to have been 111. Uh, I know that one of these. Yeah, you, you're a Kindler. Let's fight. Hey, come back. Make sure you have water handy, which means he's probably going to be a Kindler with a water type on his team. Which I always find weird. He's got literally a ball of lava. And probably a water type. But, I mean, Marsh Tomp, no real risk from either of those things. Water gun, enough to kill off Slugma? It is. Goodbye, Slugma. I like Slugma's coloring. The nice gray, um... Magma Ball when he is a uh, shiny Pokemon. I love shiny Pokemon, they're a lot more fun. But I mean, often you can't make them. Like, Cosplay Pikachu, I don't think has the ability to be shiny at all. Uh, but I could be wrong there. Getting hit by a quick attack. These guys are all doing 5 or 10 damage. It's really easy to keep in mind now, though. Look at that. Wingle's dead. I figured he'd have a water type, which means he was perfect for my team with the water electric uh, combo I've got. Not Chin Chow specifically. But there goes the Kindler. Uh, our next fight, I believe, is a hiker, isn't it? Never mind. He decided he did not want to have any of that. I thought there was something in the center of that crater. Still was a hiker, I guess. Your lady. There you go, Hyper. There you go. Uh, I know it doesn't echo here, so I'm doing my part. We're up against Machop. We don't really have anyone who's going to be useful in this respect. So, um, Marsh Tomp, can you take care of um, this Machop? Mudshotted, I guess. But at least we're still getting stabbed from Mudshot. And actually, almost enough damage to kill. Though he hits us hard. Both of us got a speed decrease. Well, fortunately, I was faster. So, Mudshot takes him out. And we're actually looking not that bad. good against uh, this area. But I think, worst case, if we do take a hit, we can always um, Soda Pop mid battle. Let's continue on. We're chasing down Team Aqua. Meteor Falls. Give it up, you bozos, and let the professor go. I've got to admit, Team Aqua sounds like a pretty awesome group of people. If uh, Shelly and this nameless grunt did approach me, I'd probably follow them into this strange meteor thing. Like this Meteor Falls area. It seems like a nice place. You're up against Team Aqua, Shelly, and the grunt. Uh, I believe um, Shelly is the one with two Pokemon. So if we kill that Grimer, we're not really at risk past that point. I like how it's like, it's Seamawkwa. Well, you know what I'm going to use? Slugma. Snarl only hitting Marshall. Fortunately, I'm using physical, so we're not too worried. Before we take any more damage, I called that HP very well. We're going to drink a soda pop because that'll put us back up to full um, and no wasted extra. So I'm certain Slugma can survive an extra round. Yeah, look at that, 10 damage each. Uh, special attack keeps going down, but really not too much dangerous happening here. Slugma, oh no! Slugma died, whatever will we do? I wanted Slugma gone. Uh, Whalmer is a beautiful uh, assistant for um, Marshawn. As, as little sense as it makes, um, we're going to start taking out this mighty Anna now. Oh, and he actually boosts Whalmer's attack.
What are you gonna do, Wilmer? Water pulse. Enough damage to kill Grimer? No. Why would you mud bomb another? All right, questionable plans from the grunts, but mud bomb takes out Grimer, which means I think it's a two v one now. Uh, we'll know at the end of this turn. Ooh, roar. I don't know if that's a good plan. Why not Grovile? Which, now I can tell I'm underleveled because, are you kidding me? Grovile's the same level as me? But I'll take the free experience thanks to Grovile. Keep old moves. Give up on Spark. Spark is just not going to be as useful as um, any electric move in this situation. Uh, let's not switch to Bag, we'll switch Pokemon over to Pikachu. Tie level with the um, Girl Vial on the screen. But I mean, Electro Ball is going to cut through um, this Carbon if we get the chance. I say if because, well, it's dead already. But, I mean, both Marsh Chomp and Pikachu are going to get the boosted experience then. Oh, are you telling me you're that strong and still just a kid? Uh, a pair of kids, thank you very much. Uh, and I'm fairly certain May did the most of that work. Alright, Team Off can take a giant step in the world as long as they use the Meteorite with the Volcano. I don't know how you would use the Meteorite with the Volcano, but alright. But this new guy has entered the scene, which we get to see from his view. And his snazzy red outfit means he's no way affiliated with Team Aqua. I bet he has a cool team name, right? Even Team Magma. So they're Team Magma. I was wrong. There is no cool team name. Oh, May is going to go save the professor, leaving us on our lonesome to fight against the two guys who just walked past us and we didn't actually block at all. Maxi, you don't know the meaning of haste, do you? Because you are walking very slowly after them. Uh, Professor Cosmo lost his meteorite, so we are headed back to Falaver Town, returning him home. And, well, we have to wait a minute or two. What's up, Professor Cosmo? What happened? At least you were safely returned. Alright, take a TM. We got Smackdown. I believe it's a fighting move that makes flying types no longer flying types for the turn. It would switch them to normal. Um, but I don't know for sure. We're going to Mauville. Yeah, we're going to get a nice shortcut back. I don't know how we entered from the south. It always confused me in this cutscene. I guess May just knows a different way there. I'm going to take advantage of the PC to heal up. And... Do, 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 do. Marsh Tomp and Pikachu are doing fine. Let's continue north to well, Mount Chimney, where we were originally heading. Uh, we'll probably stop it right when we get there, honestly speaking. Oh, that's right, we have a bike. Um, I, I did actually forget we had picked that up. Because there was a little bit of time in between the um, recording of... Well, alright then, thank you for the ether, uh, game. A little bit of time in, the, in between the recording of the last part. And now, so... We can just escape up this mountain. And that was much quicker to travel through those areas. I'm sorry I made you guys watch me walk through them all. We're going to board the cable cart. It's a bit different movements, I suppose, because I'm trying to avoid a lot of the trainers, 
even though I was also complaining at the same time that I was on the level. But we're taking this cable car and heading to the surface. Well, I guess not the surface, um, the summit. The summit is the right term. Alright, we have made it to the summit of Mount Chimney. And, of course, let's take a look. Mount Chimney, we can see there's Team Magma and Team Aqua facing off. What is happening on the surface, oh, on the summit of Mount Chimney? Find out next time on Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch Run. See you guys then.